How you doing, Coach Anthony here? Um, today's video is gonna be the jab. Now, on this video, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to get as detailed as I can on a basic video. Later on, I plan on doing a video that I think I'm gonna title a deeper look into the jab where I'm gonna get very specific and I'm gonna really explain certain things. So this is gonna be pretty basic, okay? But at the same time, I'm trying to make it as informative as possible for you guys. All right, um, what I'm gonna do right now is start off with my basic boxing stance, okay? You already know the stance. If you don't, all you gotta do is go back to my previous videos. I have a whole video on the stance, okay? When I'm going into my basic boxing stance, I'm picking my hands straight up. Now, I'm gonna show you two different looks, but for the most part is, as you can see, my left hand slightly higher than my right, my elbows are in. The punch is gonna start from my shoulder, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically turn it over. So as you can see, my thumb is up. As soon as I push the punch out, the thumb comes over, okay? I'm gonna bring the hand back nice and slow. I'm gonna do it one more time. The thumb comes over. Now, as you notice, my chin is automatically behind my shoulder here. My right hand is on the other side to protect the other side of my face. Now, if I show you from an angle, this is how it looks. I'm turning the punch over, boom. Look at my chin, okay? It's directly behind my shoulder at the end. Now, I don't have to force my chin to my shoulder. I don't have to do this. Look, it's just a natural, automatic thing. Boom, my chin, I'm still looking directly straight and it's behind my shoulder. If I show it to you from this side, when I go ahead and I shoot the shot, as you can see, you can't see my chin anymore. Therefore, if somebody throws a right hand, that's what they're gonna land. They're gonna hit my shoulder. Someone throws the overhand right as I'm throwing the jab, they're hitting more shoulder. They're not getting my chin because my chin is directly tucked behind my shoulder as I throw the punch, okay? Now, one more time so you can get this right. You don't wanna lift your elbow up, okay? You keep your elbows in, you turn the punch over, thumb up, thumb over, the punch is a nice straight punch, okay? If I throw it half speed, this is how it's gonna look. Bop, see that, again, bop, again, bop. Okay. One more time and I'm gonna stop it, bop. Chin behind the shoulder, and this is just how you throw the basic jab. Okay, so now that we got, we went over the punch, we're going to go over the, the, the body mechanics from the ground up now that are very important when you throw a jab. Now, there's trainers that will teach you two different ways to do this that I've learned actually more than two, but these are the two ones that I think are the most effective. Therefore, I'm going to show both of them to you. Um, honestly, they both work. And when I make my video in the future that I said in the beginning, a deeper look into the jab, I'm gonna talk about the pros and I'm gonna talk about the cons to both of these methods. But they're both good methods to learn, okay? So to make a long story short, I'm in my boxing stance. When I throw my jab, okay, I'm gonna step at the very same time. This is the way I recommend you learn first. Um, I've seen trainers that don't even recommend teaching this. I recommend you learn this way first before you move on to the next way I'm gonna show you. But the first way, all I'm gonna do is step and jab. As soon as my punch lands, my front foot lands, and then I just bring the back foot up with me. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna step, boom, then as I bring my hand back, the, front, the back foot comes up. Let me do it one more time, nice and slow. Bop, bop. So it's just like when we were doing the basic footwork in my basic footwork stance where you step and step. I'm stepping and stepping, but I'm just punching as I'm stepping with the first punch. It's gonna be bop, okay? So now I'm gonna do it a little bit faster so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm in my boxing stance. I wanna step into my jab, bop, okay? One more time. I'm in my boxing stance. I'm gonna step into it, bop, okay? So I just stepped into a jab. Now the reason why you wanna step as you're jabbing it does two things. For one, it gives you a little bit of momentum. And when you have more ment momentum, you have power in your shot, okay? So you're gonna have a little bit more power. It might even help you with the speed. But also, what it's gonna do is gonna help you with your balance. Because if you don't step and you just throw the jab, you're gonna fall over. So stepping with that foot keeps you under, keeps your feet under you. Therefore, you don't fall face first as you're trying to throw a punch. So there you go, I'm in my stance, bop, stance, bop, okay? All right, the other way to throw this jab is to not step, okay? Um, 
And this works, okay? When you don't step with the jab, it's kind of like you're using a rhythm, but you stop and then you throw the jab. So for instance, right now, if I throw my jab, bop, bop, this is how it's gonna be, bop, bop, okay? And earlier I said that if you throw a jab and um, if you don't step, that you're gonna fall face first. What I really mean is if you throw a jab and lean into it, you'll fall face first. If you stay in a nice, solid foundation stance, you're not gonna fall face first. But you might not have that momentum that, uh, that, that you need so you can have that speed, okay? So the way it's also taught to throw a jab is you're in your rhythm, and as you're shuffling up, you stop, bop, and then you throw the jab, okay? So I'm gonna do it one more time, I'm in my rhythm, okay, I'm rhythming up, and boom, I throw the jab. As I'm going back, I stop, boom, I throw the jab. If I do it from the side, okay, I'm in my stance, I'm going up, boom. I'm going back, boom, okay? This works, this is very effective. Like I said, I'm gonna make a whole video going into the pros and cons of both. But, to give you one more look, I'm moving up like in a shuffle, pop, and then I stop and I pop. I move back, I stop, I pop. I go forward, I stop, I pop, I go back, pop. So if I do it a little quicker, pop, pop, pop. Okay, they both work, okay? So the little rhythm speed is what's giving the momentum and uh, stopping short, stopping right before you throw the punch. So it almost looked like you're stepping with the jab, but what's happening is you're stopping and then you're throwing. You're stopping and then you're throwing, so it almost looks like you're stepping. Both work, both are highly effective. I would learn the basic stepping jabbing first so you can understand how to keep your feet under you. And once you've done that for some time, I would start working on the rhythm and throwing the jab and stopping at the same time. And this will really help you improve your game as a boxer. The jab is the most important game punch in the book, so you have to learn it. And I will learn so many different ways to do it, but these are probably the two most effective basic ways to learn the jab, okay? So, you know, study it, practice it, comment, Share this video if you have any questions. Maybe I forgot to add something in there that you want to know. Feel free to ask me, man. I'll respond to as many people as I can. Follow me on Instagram at Coach Anthony. And that's what it is, baby. Boxing life.